You're listening to another ASCII Lounge podcast. Welcome back, members, to the ASCII Lounge. I'm Monique Fennec from Australasian Supply Chain Institute. And joining us on the ASCII Lounge today is Ivan Imperado, CEO of ASCII. Welcome, Ivan. Welcome, Monique as well as Alastair Penny. Alastair is the Associate Director of Six Degrees Executive. Welcome for the first time to the ASCII Lounge, Alastair Penny. Thanks for having me. A pleasure to be here. Alastair has been recruiting executive level supply chain roles for over 15 years in Sydney. Um, Now a director at Six Degrees, he's looking into ways how Six Degrees can support and influence the industry as well as recruit in it, which is probably a good segue as to why um, Alastair is joining us today. Uh, We have done a joint survey with um, Six Degrees and the Australian Food and Groceries Council. You may have seen it out there um, on our platform. It's a great survey that Alastair is going to tell us more about. Yeah, thanks. Uh, it's a, an exciting time. Uh, the, the, the reason we've got the survey uh, together is we've done a lot of events around Industry 4.0, blockchain, the future of leadership, and it just felt there was a lot of noise out there about the, the future of technology, but no one was no one's really um, putting a finger on the pulse of what was happening at the moment in Australia. Uh, so we know there's a lot of technology out there, uh, but we wanted to to get a real accurate snapshot of of where the industry was at and 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 where the future was developing. So uh, yeah, with the support of ASCII and AFGC, we put the the survey together to hopefully get out to a, a wider population. Yeah, would you agree, Ivan? I mean, we've been talking about this on the podcast channel for a while now, haven't we? Yeah, absolutely. I've um, I've been really keen in getting a lot of feedback from members about the impact of technology and, um, you know, even at the last breakfast last week, you know, talking about AI and the impact it has. And at the end of the day, it just keeps coming back to choice and um, and capability within the organisation and, and some leadership to drive that. So I think I think the survey, Alice, there will probably touch on a lot of those areas and be able to give us um, some really good um, insights into what what the corporate members are thinking, where they think it's going, where the challenges are. I think um, I think I'm looking forward to the results. To be honest, I've done it myself, so uh, <laughs> I think it, I think it took me about ten minutes to do, which was. Um, a bit slower than anyone else can do it. You know, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it should be an easy thing to do on on your commute. And and as you say, there's there's so many terms being thrown out at the moment in terms of AI and augmented yeah. reality and data science. And um, I think most people are aware of what they do, but in terms of practical application of those technologies, um, there's still not many uh, of your members that are using them day in day out. So. I think it's useful to understand what's out there, um, but also what are the challenges facing businesses at the moment? Is that cost? Is that um, adaptability of the employees? And, and the survey will touch on that. And I think that the, the thing that we're looking to get out of the survey, as well as informing um, people on, on where we're at in, in the industry, is, is also a bit of a call to action. Um, you know, never before have we seen supply chain be as, as big a competitive differentiator as it is now um you know i keep on telling people supply chain is sexy these days it's uh, it's all about that last mile delivery and people want it faster than ever and and it's supply chain that's making those differences so if we can have a call to action to the ceos and the the boards of businesses to say well if, if you want to win you, you you've got to invest in supply chain then then obviously that's that's good for the industry all around yeah. Oh, so I... members can uh, download the link straight in the description of this podcast uh, interview to start that survey. And the deadline, I believe, is is next Monday. Is that right, Alistair? Uh, yeah, we'll, we'll probably extend it out to, to Wednesday, but we've had a really strong response. Um, so we've, we've, we've already got uh, enough people to make it statistic- statistically accurate. Um, but um, yeah, we can get as, as many people in as possible, then, then it just means the, the data is more meaningful. And the data will be shared with those uh, respondents via a report. And what else are you going to do with the findings? Yeah, absolutely. So anyone that completes the survey will, will get a, a, a 
the document providing all the analysis. Um, I'll be presenting the analysis at the AFGC conference on the 27th of June. Um, but, uh, and then a week after that, we'll, we'll release all the information to, to people that have taken part. And ASCII Lounge has agreed to a podcast series with some of the AFGC leaders of industry to talk about the findings and that will be available to everyone uh, who um, subscribes to the ASCII Lounge podcast. Sounds great. And uh, just, to, just to finish up, I think Amazon call themselves a supply chain company now, Alistair. Is that That's right? correct, yeah. <laughs> yeah. It must be sexy then, yeah. It's uh, supply chain's back, Ivan. No. Great. Place Love to be. <laughs> and Ivan, the place where you were uh, uh, this week was at the AME conference and the, the topic is is very similar to what we're talking about, empowering change and transformation. That's, that's exactly right. So just to give everyone a bit of an update on what happened over the last couple of days. So AME, the Australian Manufacturing Excellence, I think they call themselves leading through excellence and innovation. So they're trying to move away from manufacturing, but obviously you know, that's where the core member base is. Um, the conference is, uh, was over really over two days, but actually it goes over three days. I think today they're doing some site visits um, and uh, and the like. So uh, great conference, really enjoyed it. Uh, nothing about technology, all about um, innovation, lean, continuous improvement. Mainly the first day was uh, a lot about um uh, presentations with a few keynote speakers talk about lean and how it was implemented in organizations what are some of the challenges and how to embark on a journey uh, what does it mean to culture what does it mean to um, to professional development those sort of topics quite a quite a good day very heavy on uh, on information uh, the second day however was a lot more interactive they um, they had four uh, sessions and the one I sort of put myself in was a, a session called Future Map or Mapping the Future of the Manufacturing, um, Australian Manufacturing, which I thought that'll, that'll be quite interesting. It was facilitated by a company called um, Innovation, let me get this right, I think, Innovative um, Manufacturing Competitive Research Center. How about that? Wow, that's a mouthful. Yeah, these guys uh, developed a, um, a survey, a tool, online survey, which they've done, you know, with hundreds of SMEs around Australia. And what it is, is a bit of a call to action or a bit of a, a, a maturity assessment of how, where they are now and where they'd like to be. And it's quite a, a, a reflection-based survey. You know, look at yourself in the mirror and make sure you answer it correctly, not because, you know, you're, you're the best company in the world sort of approach. So we, we, we had a group of about 10. We did the survey and... Um, some of the things that um, it talks about is, uh, you know, things like uh, customer, culture, communications, change, leadership, innovation, digital readiness. And it was, uh, you know, it was a, a really good, actually. I've actually did it myself representing ASCII and how does that work and what do I need to do and what are sort of actions we need to take to the future. So it was quite a, quite a good uh, tool and they've done it um, – as I said, about 200 uh, companies in Australia. And um, they, they act as a facilitator with uh, government and corporates and universities to do research projects, and this is one of the outputs. I think they've, got a, they've had about $120 million of R&D pumped into this research centre over time. So it's quite an interesting concept, and, uh, and I got a lot out of that session. And and the last, I suppose, the last bit of the conference was about um, Australian case studies talking about uh, lean and continuous improvement. And, uh, you know, it came out quite strong. All of it was all about culture and leadership, you know, to be honest. Uh, the tools are there, but if the culture doesn't uh, and embrace the, the tool, then, then you've got no hope really to implement it. It was a fantastic uh, presentation by Knox City Council, which is a council in Victoria, which have implemented um, continuous improvement or lean within the council. It was a fantastic uh, approach, all community-driven, great, great results. And the other one was the Red Cross, Australian Red Cross, a lady from the Australian Red Cross implementing lean in their manufacturing. Extraordinary results, fantastic presentation. So... 
in summary, I, I really enjoyed it. We've got a long history with AME and we'll continue to collaborate and work together. And uh, I look forward, you know, to, to, to further enhancing our uh, relationship with the, um, with the AME. So apologies for taking a bit of long, but I think it was important to just give everyone a bit of a sense of um, manufacturing is not about tools and technology. It's actually got to do with people and culture. Um, so it was good. It was a great, great couple of days. Thanks for your feedback, Ivan. So, Alastair, will you, do you think you'll join us on the ASCII lounge again? It wasn't was it too painful, was it? <laughs> no, no. Um, I'll, I'd be good if I could come back. Yeah, that's good. There's plenty and of room. We're, we're <laughs> inviting more of our members to come and join us on the ASCII lounge and share what they've been doing uh, in their careers, uh, in their current roles, where they want to head in the future and just what they're seeing um, around and about. It's a good opportunity for us to just keep it real, isn't it, Ivan? Uh, oh, totally keep it real. And just to to sum it up, uh, we've had a 100% take-up of our corporate members in April, so I'd like to thank all our renewed corporate members welcome back to the family and let's go for another round so uh, onwards and upwards i think sounds good thanks for joining us today alistair and ivan and i hope everybody's commute's not too bad today thanks everyone have a great day thank you bye bye for now